Well, good Sunday morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday. It's a holiday weekend, and I am doing exactly what I love doing, and that is working on an old, old-ass house. After spending 16 hours in here yesterday, I've been here since 8 o'clock this morning, and getting out here working on the deck before it gets too hot and then eventually i'll be working in here at least we have ac up in here because we've taken another step forward so i'm sitting here and uh you know we're in the silly season right now there's not really let's be let's be honest right now there's nothing going on but the rent right now there is no big news that's going on you know it is literally just kind of silly season right now. It's only speculation of what's going on about this, that, and the other, but no real news. But here it is. It is the 2nd of July. In 24 days, the Cowboys will have the first practice. And I can't wait. I honestly and truly cannot wait till we actually start having practice. I know that here we'll be on the tail end side if we're not done. Uh, 24 days, that's three weeks. We're going to be here today, tomorrow, 4th of July, and everything else working on it because we are on a mission to get this mother humper done. Anyway, that's not why you're here. It's crazy to me watching as a sports fan. I'm a sports fan. Always have been. But watching what's going on at ESPN, Steve Levy, one of the longest tenured people on the network, he's now out. They are hemorrhaging people left and right. You know, basically, it's kind of crazy, and I'm sure that there's a lot of bad feelings out there as people who have been cornerstones of ESPN are all given their walking papers. And here it is, you hear about, is it $70 million contract for Pat McAfee? I feel a certain kind of way if I were one of those people right now that here it is, I've been here all this time, didn't make that much money. And now we are just getting rid of people left and right. Steve Young has been kicked out. You know, I mean, heck, it might be Stephen A. Smith. And the thing is about this is I remember, you know, ESPN has been doing this for quite a while. And the first time they started doing it, they got rid of the people who actually knew what they were talking about, which made it even worse. They ended up getting rid of guys that you un that, that did the X's and O's, and they involved or devolved into this whole shouting match. Unfortunately, here's the thing. The show that launched A Thousand Ships, PTI. PTI was groundbreaking because you had two guys having conversations with a differencing of opinion about sports. One took one side, the other took the other side. And it was great. That unfortunately devolved with First Take, where First Take was the first show that literally just took it to a whole nother level. Stephen A. Smith and, and uh, Skip Bayless you know, having the loud arguments that they had that has completely devolved into now Shady McCoy and the ass-ass comments where it's really, it's not even watchable anymore. It is just, it's just cray-cray is all it really is anymore. So now... You're just letting go the people that you enjoyed watching, the faces that you knew for Pat McAfee. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Pat McAfee, but is Pat McAfee, his three hours enough to save ESPN? Because the problem is you've gotten rid of all of the talent that you've had. And you've put all the eggs in the Pat McAfee basket. Pat McAfee is not 24-7 sports. The guys and the faces that you got to get used to are gone. 
the people who have the real insight is gone. And that's what the that, that's the reason why ESPN is here where they are now because of the first time they did that. And this is another reason why you have to look at it and say, there's no chance that Michael Irving is going to get a job back with ESPN. They don't have the money. The way they are kicking people to the curb, there is if there's any doubt whatsoever, and quite frankly, the thing is with the defamation lawsuit, that has no criminal bearing on it. He can win that suit, but there can still be questions on whether or not he was guilty or not. And so ESPN, already in financial woes, ESPN, already in financial woes, probably will not take a chance on Michael Irvin because they don't have the funds and the wherewithal to do anything. And that's sad. That is really and truly sad where ESPN is gone. Well, we're getting ready for football season. We'll have a different ESPN. We'll have different bright young faces that nobody knows. I guess we'll have more of the shouting matches because that seems to be what everybody's going to. My hope, my hope is that Pat McAfee is a difference maker. And here's what I mean about this. Too much of a good thing can ruin it. PTI was a good thing. And then it became every show was modeled after PTI, but taking it to another level became more of, you know, let's have a fight verbally as opposed to a discussion. That the pendulum swung too far that way. And Pat McAfee is more on the other side where it doesn't have to be about yelling, screaming, cussing each other out. Maybe the pendulum swings back some. And it gets back to what things used to be and it used to be you were brought the sports with what happened and you could make your own opinion on what was going on somehow it all devolved into ass ass no real take just let's just be Jerry Springer and I'm sure there will always be a place for some of that just not with me. Alrighty, good people. We will be doing our live stream here at the Red Brick House. Uh, five o'clock. We'll be doing our Zoom in call. This will be a first for here. Uh, we haven't done the Zoom, Zoom call from here before, but we'll be able to do that. And I look forward to it. Um, this place is changing in, in so much every single day. Um, it was great last night. I uh, was wetting down the walls so we can do more plastering and stuff in here and realized there was a piece of sheet metal that was over the fireplace and pulled that off and lo and behold all the soot and dust and sand and everything else fell out of it and now the fireplace is there i wouldn't put a fire in there because the chimney's unlocked but it's a fireplace it's a place um i love it and it surprises me every single day. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace.